Welcome back. This is the third of the th of the five Tikinta lessons, and in this one, I'll give you some tips about slightly improving the visual appearance of the Tikinta interface. You can do as few or as many of these as you want, or you could come back to this later if you want to press on. So in this lesson, I'll talk about padding the widgets so that they're a bit more spaced out. I'll look at how to add colour and there's a, a slightly more modern design of window that you can adopt. So adding padding to the widgets, here's an example. Uh, this is the convert button. These are the commands that we've already entered and we can add a final command, a grid configure pad X and pad Y. That means pad vertically and horizontally, 10 spaces. Uh, it, just, it just means that the window's got a little bit of space around all the widgets. And if I add that to all of my widgets, my it just looks a little bit better. It just looks a little bit more professional. So I just added that pad command to all four widgets and it made my interface look like that. So if you want to stop the video now and add padding to all your widgets, uh, it, it just is a slightly more professional looking interface. Now I know that some people like to add colour to their interface, so I'm just quickly going to touch on it here. So here I've just taken the label that says Euros, I've set it to be quite wide and quite high, uh, to have the foreground colour, FG foreground of red, that will make the text red and the background white. And the rest of it I've left the same. You could explore using this kind of thing. And the result would look something like this. You can see that my window has stretched, the grid has stretched to make space for the larger label. And uh, it's using the colours. Personally, I don't use colours much, but I know many of you will, will want to do that, perhaps to emphasise part of the inter interface. I'm going to delete that from mine now, but you can add it wherever you like, or perhaps just make a mental note and come back and look at this again in the future. And the last improvement that I'm going to talk about in this very brief lesson is importing an additional feature of Tikinta called TTK. The TTK add-on makes your interface look a little bit more modern because it, what we're used to in interfaces has changed slightly since Tikinta was set up. So if we import TTK, we have to import it using a, a separate command. That will change how our um, interface looks. So can you see that where I've created the frame, where I've created the button, and I do this with all my widgets, I'm adding ttk.frame, ttk.button. I don't have to make any other changes, but if I, if I add ttk in front of my frame and all my widgets, it makes the interface just look a little bit more modern. Uh, so there there but go through all the widgets in the Python program and just put TTK dot in front of each one and it looked like that you can see the buttons kind of flatter the font has changed slightly and I personally think that looks more like my original design so I think it's better and that I did use the TTK um, module in my design but it's entirely up to you. So if you want to, you can make any of these improvements to the converter or to your own project interface. Or, as I say, make a mental note, think, fine, that's something I'll look into later. In the next in, uh, instalment, we'll look at creating a Python procedure that does the, the currency converter work.